The CNM Seeds Weed School is brought to you by Bear Crop Science. Rob, what is here is fusarium. You can see that part of the head is infected. You can even see part of the, the uh, pinkish mold growing here. And fusarium is bad in that it produces dawn. And you can have fusarium, but not necessarily dawn. It's the wet conditions from now on that will have this disease grow further and then start producing the, the toxins that are, that are unacceptable. And a head like this, the disease will spread from these infected kernels to these other kernels up, up on the head. And it's very critical, a season like this, the growers get this off as fast as they can. You know, once, once they're able to take it off, they had to get it off so the disease doesn't grow anymore. And if growers are evaluating, what they do is they find one of these heads in the field and then just count a hundred heads around it to see, you know, what percentage of the field is infected. And with a view, if there are parts of fields or some fields that are much better than others, then get the good ones off first so that you, you know, you have an acceptable crop. Uh, blending this year is probably not a great idea. You want to get, you want to get the uh, good ones off. Now this field has been treated with uh, uh, fusarium control fungicide and with the fusarium control fungicides we still do not get 100%. What we're trying to do is reduce the amount of it. We do not eradicate it. So growers should not be upset with the fact that they did spray and they still have fusarium. That's the reality of the fungicides that we're dealing with.